Your friends are scrolling through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to Yara's Clips. Uh, have you ever watched Aapki Adalat? Yes, of course. Aap pe aarop hai ki aapne PUBG ban kiya. <laughs> that's that's true. Ha, ban kiya hai aur ham hamara in a sense duty to all of you is to keep the internet safe, mm. to keep the internet trusted. and while we love innovation we about we love what young indians and indeed youngsters all over the world are doing we also have an obligation to make sure that uh, things are not uh, bad things are not uh, unsafe things are not trust, uh, mistrusted so there are certainly interventions where we will intervene and say this is not good and we will lay out very transparently the criteria for why it's not good we want to make sure that for the 120 crore indians who are on the internet the internet is always safe and trusted hmm. and therefore pubg ka ban was uh, <laughs> justified uh, but uh, bgmi has been unbanned so i think people who are very keen on that format of uh, battleground gaming are happy and then of course there is call of duty and all of those other things still there you think call of duty bgmi <laughs> uh, it's no, cool no no so i think look gaming is uh, certainly part of the lifestyle of uh, younger indians and youngsters all over the world and we certainly don't want to be sitting there and playing an old grumpy uncle or mm. old grumpy grandfather and come in the way of that but we have a duty to not just to the country but to all of you as well all the youngsters as well that we have to make sure that what is out there is not addictive does not disrupt your lives is does not create harm for others for example women gamers many games are, are hostile environments for young girls who want to be also gamers so we certainly will do our bit in intervening ki these type of issues should not be there in your game hmm okay a uh, two prong question one is how do you look at the world of gaming because the world of gaming is extremely excited about where it's going especially financially yes. you know uh, be it the gaming content creators competitive gamers or even gaming entrepreneurs people are extremely pumped about where indian gaming is going so are you guys aware about it in the technology ministry oh absolutely okay. and that is why we recently came up with these rules that have creating a framework so indian games can grow mm. indian gaming companies can grow uh, we you know i mean you know i know call of duty and so many there are so many uh, gaming labels and uh, games out there but i also want and the prime minister also wants that in the next 5 years there are more and more indian games right. we are gamifying indian stories indian scenarios So uh, I am very confident that over the next three four years there will be multi billion dollar gaming entrepreneurs, gaming startups that come out of India, and that gamify stories that you and I know as youngsters, or if you don't know it, at least I know as a youngster, that can be beautifully gamified. So there is a tremendous amount of potential that we don't have to go to Call of Duty. We can do an equally exciting. Yeah. Uh, uh, product or a game that is really India based. Call of Kurukshetra. Perfect. where you get to yeah, exactly there are so many stories in our history of battles mm. valiant battles uh, rana pratap shivaji mm. there are so many of these stories that can be gamified that uh, i believe that uh, while the formats may be similar that the indian stories uh, the stories that you and i have heard when we were children and uh, can have a great potential of being gamified yeah now i'll ask you the second aspect of the same question Anji. what was the internal discussion like did you talk to pm modi about pubg when it was at its peak like how did you guys figure that this needs to be banned so pubg is very simple it, it that it fell a foul of a couple of things that we think are, should not be done okay. for example the server should not be abroad data should not be exported of consumers because it violates the fundamental right to privacy mm. that is part of article 21 of the constitution you and i have the fundamental right today that our data cannot be used by or misused by anybody without our consent so there were a lot of these types of issues that were violating your uh, rights uh, as a consumer and all your uh, viewers rights and that is why it was done and plus there is an aspect of some games that are addictive cause harm so even on content part of some games there are some issues that pubg fell afoul of so that is why so these are simple decisions there is no uh, let's say there is no subjectivity to it okay i don't like this game because as a criteria hai and that based on that criteria we take a call okay uh was there any geopolitical angle no no not, none, nothing none, nothing, nothing, nothing like that nothing nothing like that 
geopolitics is only to the extent that data of indian consumers cannot leave the country Gotcha. to that extent that there is a geopolitics hmm. in it and that is a violation of the constitutional right that you and i have yeah okay what about the tiktok ban the tiktok ban is uh, certainly something that you know that we have taken a decision on that way before the world has hmm. and now countries are struggling to take a decision because it has become so ingrained tiktok has multiple issues with it uh, and, and it is not anything to do with uh, the fun that people have and the ability to post uh, videos on it and so on and so forth there are many issues about its ownership what they do with data what type of algorithms we don't know visibility of what type of algorithms they are using to serve what type of content to you so till we are clear about the transparency of the fundamental back end of any product including but not limited to tiktok we will certainly not permit it in india yeah yeah because uh, while it is a nice hip fun app and i have used it as well uh, frankly we are not clear today even today even the americans and the europeans are not clear about what is happening to the data that is being harvested what type of data has been harvested how is that data being used or misused of you and hundreds and thousands of people so i know some young people were upset about uh, the, the the ban on tiktok but i think there is sometimes a larger issue of sec- your own security your own data protection that uh, needs to be addressed uh, vis-a-vis just the convenience and the fun so if you enjoy this video subscribe to trs clips for more